a man is reborn as a fly and seeks vengeance against who killed him. However, with his newfound powers, he realizes he's not strong enough to defeat his foe. He turns to his girlfriend for help, but she doesn't recognize him and tries to swat him away. It becomes clear that revenge is a path he must tread alone. One day, the enemy is in a sauna when the fly flies into his ear. With his hands trapped, he can only shake his head, but he doesn't know that the wheel is rolling, and right in front of it is a spike. Luckily, he can move his neck, inadvertently avoiding a deadly spike in front of him. At night, the fly continues to pester him, keeping him up in a constant battle. Frustrated and desperate, the enemy resorts to mimicking the ancient Egyptian pharaoh's sleep technique. The next day, as the enemy is driving, the fly flies into his eye, causing the car to lose control and collide with a large truck. Miraculously, the enemy survives. The fly, now with a message, writes on the window, I will kill you. This fly lifts weights with toothpicks, trains for long distance running with cassette tapes, and works tirelessly to avenge its past life's enemies. The fly tracks down its past life girlfriend and uses tears to write a message on the table, seeking her help for revenge. The girlfriend crafts a protective face mask and a set of wolverine-like claws for the fly. The fly locates its enemy and disrupts his activities at the gym, almost causing him to be crushed. During a barber visit, it agitates the barber, almost getting the guy sliced. The enemy can't take it anymore and invest money in sealing off his house, implementing strict security and even safe checks for entry. However, the fly sneaks in by hitching a ride on a guest, but security discovers it. The guards then surround the fly, wielding fly swatters. Unable to enter the house, the fly seeks help from its girlfriend. She pretends to visit the enemy and secretly loosens a screw, allowing the fly to enter. Armed with its claws, the fly captures the enemy, making him bleed. The fly even discovers a cannon in the enemy's house. The fly starts sending small amounts of gunpowder daily. The assassination plan begins. A man is reborn as a fly and seeks revenge on his enemy. His enemy kidnaps his girlfriend and threatens to crush the fly beneath their feet. With no other choice, the fly complies. Just as the fly is about to be squashed, it grabs a needle and successfully fights back against the enemy. Enraged, the enemy attempts to shoot the fly but accidentally shoots an electrical box, plunging the room into darkness. The fly seizes the opportunity, taking the needle and attempting to blind the enemy. The enemy grabs a magnet and traps the fly, but he doesn't want to kill the fly easily. He planning a more gruesome death by fire. However, he will find out he made a wrong decision. The fly unexpectedly dies into a flame, flies into the cannon, and shoots directly at the enemy while hitting the oxygen bottle, triggering a gas explosion that kills the enemies instantly. The girlfriend miraculously survives, as she is the protagonist. And yes, the other protagonist, the fly, is also reborn, because he too is a central character.